welcome back today is the requested guitar tone patch that I used when I did a tutorial for rap dance this is the guitar tone that I used for that video so uh, if you want to call it a rap tone that's up to you it just happens to be the tone that I used for that video dance 1986 and this is the tone and all the settings I'm going to give it to you E-Band, as you can see in the screen, the Boss E-Band JS10, which has the Boss GT100 effects processor already built into it. Whatever effects pedals, stomp boxes, rack mounts, computer-based software, if you have the Line 6 Helix, the Line 6 Pod, uh, Fractal Audio Axe Effects 8, Axe Effects 1, 2, 3, whatever you have, I will get you there using the Boss E-Band. Just look at the screen. And if you don't have my settings, don't be alarmed. Just look at the knob positioning as you would a clock. Alright, now that little noise is just because I'm behind the camera. So it's picking up the noise. That's not the tone. <clears throat> awesome for rhythm and it's awesome for lead so you basically get two tone patches in one you want to have a great crunchy bright brittle 80s uh, distortion this is the tone I believe that's up to you and if you want a nice steering lead high pitch pinch harmonics bright uh, harmonics and so forth this is also the same uh, tone you can use or patch uh, real quick one more thing if you have any questions comments or feedback leave them below uh, any requests, leave them below. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Again, real quick, if I don't see you tomorrow, because I upload videos every single day, seven days a week, 360, <laughs> 365 days a year. Now, if I don't upload a video in a day or two or whatever, uh, I should be fine. It's just because I'm looking after my little dog, Pippi. You all know Pippi. Uh, I'm just watching her, just making sure she's okay and comfortable. But she's fine for the time being. I'm just giving you a heads up. Hey, where's the video? Oh, Tony must be with Pippi having cheesecake and watching movies. Remember, I'm probably just watching cheesecake. I'll probably be having cheesecake and watching movies with Pippi. <laughs> that's, where I, that's how I roll. If I don't play guitar, Tony's watching movies with Pippi eating cheesecake. <laughs> Yo, Tony, where's this rat tone video? All right, here we go. And lastly, um, you're all totally hurry up. No, no, no. You listen. You wait, Mitch. You wait. One more thing. Um, again, look for videos every day. I already said that. You hit subscribe. Click the notification bell. I've already said that. What else? One more thing. One more thing. Oh, yeah. So, if you want to call this Rat, by all means, call it Rat. Rat Dan's. Rat 1986. Call it whatever you like. But this is the tone, the exact tone and the settings that I did use for that video tutorial, Rat Dance. Uh, the chords of Rat the Dance 1986, all right? So let's begin. What you see on the screen is a high stack. That is my Boss modeling amp for a modified vintage Marshall amp. So in your amp modeling, whatever you have for a modified vintage Marshall, that's the amp you want to use. That's not good. Almost like Van Halen-ish. Ooh, that's not 
guitar, you playing that again? No, 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 no. This is a tone video, not a guitar lesson video. All right, so there it is. High gain stack for me is a modified vintage Marshall. Look it up. Uh, let's go next. Uh, my gain, oh, these are already the settings I have set in stone, so go ahead and lock it in, look at it. My gain, I have this at 94, and my effect level for this uh, tone is at 54. <laughs> Pay attention to the noodling around. I just want you to hear every nuance. Oh, real quick, uh, my pickups are DiMarzio Super Distortion pickups. So if you have a hot pickup, keep that in mind. If you have a low output pickup, keep that in mind. I have a DiMarzio Super Distortion pickup humbucker, right? There's my bass. Uh, it's at 50. My middle is at 50. My treble is at 70, and my presence is at 35. <laughs> Um, there is next on the screen right there Now see there is my I have no compressor see that no compressor. It's off. There is my overdrive distortions I'm using a clean moose <laughs> What's next? Those are my uh, settings for the Boss Clean Boost. 52 drive, bottom zero, tone plus five, effect level 55. As you know, all of my tones on my playlist, they're free. Go ahead and look at them, dial them up. Even if you don't have a Boss E-band, whatever you have, go ahead and steal my tones if you like. I have no problem with it. Uh, your results will vary, so tinker with it. You may have some features I don't. I may have some features you don't. That's where you have to use your ear to make the tone sound good for you, okay? Also, just play with your guitars, play with your pickups. That sounds good, all right, what's next? There's my noise gate. My noise gate I have right there at 54. Uh, if you don't have 54, that would be what? 1 o'clock. See? That's how you do it. Uh, I do have EQ. I get a lot of my crunch from the EQ. It's real fast look. See the bottom right? If I turn the EQ off, this is my tone without EQ. So this tone is reliant on EQ. Listen. tone is good right there too but this tone is a awesome tone with the EQ so listen here's a G without it it's from the Warren D Martini EQ here we go see the bottom right EQ. Now, if you don't have EQ, what I would do is go get rid of the clean boost, go to your distortion, and pick a distortion, and crank up your distortion pedal for the gain. Listen. Turn up your treble and turn up your distortion pedal if you don't have EQ. That's just what I would do. So, if some people don't have EQ, just grab a distortion pedal, turn up your treble, and you should be good to go. 
let's get back to this town. Those are my settings. Low gain uh, minus 9, high gain plus 20, effect level 0. I think I did that real fast. Yeah, okay. Uh, low mid frequency 500, low mid Q 1, low mid gain plus 15. Alright, we're going to go by this really fast if I stop talking. <laughs> high mid frequency 4.00, high mid Q 1, high mid gain plus 1. Your all tone, how do you come up with your tones? Um, I'm old school. I put on a pair of headphones. I love 80s metal. I have everything. Trust me when I tell you. I have everybody and everything. Every song, every album, every band from the 80s album or CD to set. I have it all. I put on my headphones and I listen for it. Uh, my left ear, I'm totally deaf in my left ear. So I use my right ear heavily. It's more tuned. So it's more for me, it's more heightened, aware. My right ear or my hearing in my right ear. So my left ear is dead. So I start picking up waves. I hear reverb. I hear chorus, flanger, phaser, or tremolo. I hear things that I didn't hear with my other ear when I had it. So long story short, I when I think I hear my headphones, I try to emulate it on the E-band. <laughs> My low cut and high cut are both at flat. All right, what do we have here? Uh, what gives this tone uh, depth and robustness? Robustness is I have a chorus on here. Can, we'll do, we'll do, we'll, blah. Can you talk, Tony? We'll do the before and after. <laughs> chorus right here uh, I have as you can tell real fast I have mono ST1 and ST2 ST2 obviously means stereo for my tone I'm using stereo 1 if you have a stereo chorus that'll work so I'll use the stereo chorus that yeah. my rate is at 40 my depth is at 50 and my effect level for this is at 28 we're gonna see the bottom right I have it on right listen <laughs> chorus off you'll see why I added it and you'll see guy tone you're good with no chorus <laughs> It up not too much because I don't want to make it a chorusy tone. This is not a chorusy tone, but it does have chorus. Because look, if I went to ST2, listen to the difference. or one. 
treat. I just gave you ST2 mode, right? That is the highest stereo mode I have. The tone I'm giving you is this one. So if you want to save this tone after you lock it in two separate ways to get two different tones, you can listen. ST2. Both tones sound incredible. They both sound awesome and fierce. When you hear it in person, you turn it up. A lot of people love this fat 80s sound. I do too. But I created this rhythm tone for the song Dance. And then when you turn it off. Now, I spent so much time on the chorus with you. I put it on the lowest stereo mode to fatten it up, but not make the tone chorusy. To make it chorusy, I would just go to the highest stereo. There's nothing wrong with that. So if you want to save two tones, come back to your chorus and change the stereo mode, all right? This tone I'm giving you for rap dance, I'm going to keep it at ST1. You want to come back and save another tone patch with ST2, Keeping everything the same, go for it, because they're both good. So keep that in mind. Once you lock this tone in, save it, whatever, however you want to save it. Go back to your chorus, change the stereo mode to two, and then save it a different name. And now you got two tones, both equally really good. You want a third tone, take the chorus off, and then you got a drier tone. All right? I'm going to keep this tone right here at ST1. But ST2 sounds really good. All right? We're almost done here. There is my delay. There is my uh, Warren Martini delay, 400 milliseconds, feedback 36, high cut flat, and my effect level at 68. I'm going to turn the delay off really fast. Listen. Now what you hear is the reverb, because I'll give you the reverb in a little bit. And there is my tone with no delay. Let's turn that delay on with the new settings. There is a delay that I use for this tone. So it sounds good dry. It sounds good with delay. I like it the delay. There is my reverb tone. I'm going to turn the reverb off. There's my, I'm using a room. Again, you may have a whole bunch of options for your uh, reverb. I only have five. For me, I'm using a room. If you have a spring delay, concert, whatever you have, play with your reverb, okay? I'm going to use a room. My reverb time is at 3.8, high cut at 8.00, and my effect level here is at 45 with no reverb. <laughs> Let's turn that Warren D. Martini reverb on. video guitar lesson of dance. If you have any questions, comments, and feedback, leave them below. So again, I gave you two three tones. 
uh, lock this in if you like it. Uh, thank you so much for supporting me. Um, go back to your chorus, change the chorus to ST2. You got a totally unique, more uh, 80s tone, awesome tone. These tones sound great when you hear them in person. So ST1 stereo is what I have. It's a bare bone stereo. That's what this tone is. You want to brighten it up and fatten it up some more, thicken it up. Go to ST2, save that as a different tone patch. And then go ahead, if you want a third, just drop the chorus off and make a drier tone, and then you got three tones right here. But, okay. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you got a lot out of this video. I hope you like my tones. If you do, thank you so much. Uh, I got more tones coming. If you have requests for tones, remind me. Uh, I may have forgotten some of you, but I got a lot of tones to share with you. So I'm juggling tone videos. I'm juggling guitar licks of videos. And I'm juggling the guitar chords of videos. Uh, so... A lot of great videos coming out. I'm juggling all three. Guitar tones, guitar licks, and guitar chords. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. So just be patient. Tony, where's my video? Tony, where's my video? You'll get your video, right? All right, thanks everybody. I'll see you soon. And um, hit subscribe, click the notification bell. And thanks everybody. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye -bye.